In this stream, we are going to just talk about Anna making a 35 layer cake, <laughs> which is just cooler than we could have imagined. Well, I want to start with Firefly. And in this case, I just went in here and I asked it to make me a five layer blue cake on a white background. So I just brought this into Photoshop. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is uh, just remove the background here. Just doing that with those live gradients. Now, these are fully editable, fully adjustable, change those colors out. So that works really well. Just using generative fill, making a selection over this bottom of the cake area here. And then I wanted it to be like a table with candles. Just kind of like anchoring our cake in, in space and giving it some fun candles. We've got to add our icing to the cake, right? <laughs> so if you're not familiar with the selection brush tool yet, it's basically a what we call a brasso, where it's a brush and a lasso. Oh, I've never heard that before. The <laughs> yes, brasso. The brasso. So you can just simply like paint where you want something to go, or you can like circle like that, just like you would a lasso or a brush. So in this case, I want this icing to be kind of like dripping down the cake like that. So in generative fill, let's do white icing. Oh yeah, this looks amazing actually. Next, I added some of the um, classic Photoshop logos in, you know, warping these into place, a little bit of shadows, curves adjustment, and of course, bevel and emboss. That is classic Photoshop. Generative workspace here, really powerful. We can just start to generate things here. So Let's do pink eraser on a white background. So oh, add yes. our variable and then I did a text shortcut here. Yes, it worked. We got pink eraser and rope and magnify glass, pen, paintbrush, eyedropper, paint bucket, band-aid, magic wand, and stamp generating all of these tools at once with that variable button, super, super useful. Here we got all of these different tools imagined in real life. Like I love the stamp, I love the eyedropper, the paintbrush. For the sake of time, I've already brought these all in and composited them. So there's all of our tools on our cake, which is really fun. So I just went back into uh, Firefly again and then using structure reference here. So I put the Photoshop logo in here and then PS made out of cake and icing. So yeah, I got my little PS cookies and then I needed to have a pinwheel of death, little rainbow wheel of death because uh, what's Photoshop without it? That looks great. And then I just added in a couple of finishing touches here, some shadows on the bottom <laughs> and then a white rabbit because fun fact, if you didn't know, uh, Photoshop used to have all of these code names when it first came out. So this was kind of cool. And then um, my fun finishing touches here, the little fun extras. Of course, we had to add the banana, the coffee, the toast. If you know all those things and you're definitely a true Photoshop lover. Obviously, it needed uh, some candles on top of the cake, some fireworks, <laughs> some confetti. But as if that wasn't enough, <laughs> I had to like take it to the extreme. So I made all of these in the Firefly video model. I put them on a black background. There we no, go. I feel oh, like I'm like yeah. hearing in my head like I know. This just works so well. That's I love so it. awesome. I love it. Thank you so much, everyone, and thanks for having fun with us and letting us play.